MJZ Comics Best Pickups of 2022. Let's start the show. Before we get started, make sure you give this video a like, hit the subscribe button, and click that notification bell so you don't miss any of our new videos. We really, really appreciate it. So 2022 was a great year. I feel very fortunate we were able to get some good investment comic books here, and we're going to share them with you right now. Please send us some comments. Let us know what you think of these books. First book we're going to show you is the ungraded book. Now this book is a golden age Captain Marvel book. It's Captain Marvel number 26 from 1943. 1943, we're talking World War II era comic book here of Captain Marvel, big American flag with him on the cover. And this thing is in great shape for a raw book from 1943. The significance of this book is it's the first appearance of Mr. Mind, who is the evil villain that battles Captain Marvel. He's a little worm character. And if you remember in the Captain Marvel movie that released, I think a couple years ago now, Mr. Mind was in the end credit scene. He was in the jail cell. Um, cool character. I was actually, the funny story about this book is I wanted to find this book. It is really hard to find. I think there's a couple of these on eBay or my comic shop currently, but it's a very, very hard book to find. There's only 32 copies total on the census that's total that's not 9.8 that's total amount of books that have been graded in the world 32. this is ungraded i don't think it's been restored it's intact everything's there i am going to send this off to cgc and get this thing graded yeah great pickup um big shout out to the golden age guru for helping us get this yeah c2e2 i met him at c2e2 when i picked this up and i remember the dealer i got it off of he had just picked this up from a collection and he was hesitant to let me pay to buy it from him because it was so rare and he knew it it's a big big book not many people know about it it's so old i mean it's just a really cool looking book lots of cool things going on here it was 10 cents when it came out wow orange and color and it's just I really like it. One of my favorite books. I mean, anytime you can bag a golden age key, it's a good day because those are so old and so hard to get. Next book we have here, which um, if you've watched some of our videos you may have seen before, is New Teen Titans Annual Number 2. Now, this is the Canadian price variant, so a little harder to get, not as common as your regular copy of this book. This is the first appearance of Vigilante, who was in the Peacemaker show. Yep. And this book is extremely hard to get in a high grade. There are only 21 copies in a 9.8 that are the Canadian price variant versus 373 9.8s of the regular version. Yeah. We sought after this book. We really liked the Vigilante in the show, the Peacemaker. I've always liked him in the comic books. When I found out there was a Canadian price variant, I'm like, we got to try to find one of these. And we did. And like Matt said, the thing is ultra rare. That's actually one of the things you're going to find the common theme in this video of stuff. Our best pickups of 2022, they're all really rare books. And I think down the line for investing, it's going to pay off to, to spend a little bit more money to pick up things like the Canadian price variant instead of saving $200 and getting the regular 9.8 of this book. I mean, 20, 21 copies. In the world, 21. 21. Did I say 27 earlier? I think you said 27. 21 total copies. That's less than two per state. Think about that. No, it's less than a half per state. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 21 copies in this particular book in a 9.8. That's crazy. That is unbelievable. That is Less than half the states in the United States have a copy of this book, potentially. So there we go, man. Rarity in the first two books of 2022. The next book we have isn't quite as rare. It's a newer book from 2009. This is a CBCS graded 9.8. It's the Green Lantern, number 39. And it's the first appearance, first full appearance of Lar Fleas. I'm a big Green Lantern fan. If you've been following the channel, I have a lot of key Green Lantern books. Also a big DC fan. I loved, love this cover. I mean, he's the orange lantern, the orange evil lantern, Lar Fleas. The book has all this bright orange color. The Green Lantern's in orange. Just beautiful copy of this book. I mean, I... Like I said, it's not worth a ton of money. I think you can pick this up in 9.8 for 100 bucks. But for a Green Lantern fan 
or a lar fleece flan fan. This is a must-have. In this high grade, I mean, this thing just snaps at you when you look at it. And there's only 28 CGC graded 9.8s of this book. So another really rare book, Cool Green Lantern. Uh, that's actually one of my favorite pickups of the year. Yeah, I find some of these DC books are actually kind of, they're almost cooler than some of the Marvel ones because they're so much harder to get, especially as you go back in time to yeah. bronze, silver, and gold age. Man, these DC books that some of them you're going to see, there are hardly any copies in the world. Yep. Another book that you've probably seen before, Justice League of America, number 21 from 1963. This is the first Silver Age appearance of Our Man, Dr. Fate, Icicle, and Wizard. And this is in a 9.0, as you can see, only 23 copies in that grade. And only, from what we could find from our research, 34 copies graded higher. So super, incredibly rare DC key. Yeah, so I mean, essentially, it's one of the 35 highest graded copies of that book. And we picked it up. We're big Dr. Fate fans. I mean, that was the biggest, he's the biggest character in that book. Just a beautiful copy with all the Justice League, Justice Society on it. Dr. Fate's front and center. The purple coloring on that book. I think I'm going to actually get this one recased in the newer CGC cases. I just feel like that new case makes the cover, the color pop out. Mm -hmm. This generation case, I feel like really dulls the books. Yeah, the older case is a little bit opaque, not as clear. The newer ones just make the book look so much better. But really cool book. Dr. Fate, great character. The next book we have here is another unique book this is uh, actually another canadian price variant you can see the 75 cents it's new mutants number 16 from 1984. what is the significance of this book this is the first appearance of warpath again a minor x-men character to most but he's one of my favorite x-men he's a super serum soldier has vibranium knives that he carries and he's like seven feet tall i mean he's just a monster x-men i hope they bring him to the mcu again it's warpath first appearance and again this is the canadian price variant as you can see it's also a newsstand edition it's the canadian price variant at 75 cents and there are only get this two of these on the census in the entire world. So you're looking at a book, a 9.8 Canadian price variant, first appearance, Warpath, New Mutant 16. There are only two of these, and we have one of them right here. That's what you call winner, winner, chicken dinner right there. The colors on this book, this almost looks like a 9.9. When I look at the greens on this thing, I mean, it just looks, it's phenomenal. Amazing book. First appearance, Warpath, CGC 9.8 Canadian price variant. Next book is the first appearance of a fan favorite, including one of, I believe, Kevin Feige's favorite characters. First appearance of Beta Ray Bill in Thor 337 in a 9.8. And this book's also a little bit special. It's a Mark Jewelers variant. So if you've watched some of our previous videos, you know those were, I believe, issued to military bases, likely handled in stacks raw by hand. So very hard for these to survive at all, let alone in a high grade. We took a look at this book, the regular 9.8. There's about a little over 1,300 copies. And we believe this might be the only 9.8 Mark Jewelers that exists. We did find one that was CBCS. So there's possibly only... And it was off-white pages. This could be the only true 9.8. It, it might be the only one out there. If you have seen one or you own this book in a Mark Jeweler variant, please comment below and let us know. Maybe send us a picture. We'll post it on one of our videos. But again, it's the CGC 9.8 newsstand in a Mark Jeweler variant. The Mark Jeweler, again, is becoming very, very collectible. Makes the price of these books more valuable. Uh, they were super hard to get. I mean, they were passed. These books were only on military bases. Being in the Army, it has a special meaning to me because these were only on military bases, handed out to the kids, supposedly tied up in a rope twine, handed to them, and then they could bring them in and exchange them for new books. So you think about how rare that would be to get one in a 9.8. I mean, this must have never saw a child's hand or left the shop. It must have been sitting on a base somewhere where nobody was looking at the comic books. That's what makes this special. Do your research on the Mark Jeweler variants. A lot of people don't know about them still. They are becoming a lot more popular. It's an insert on the inside that has, I think it's a few pages of jewelry that's for mm -hmm. sale. But again, the significance of that is they were only sent to military bases in the U.S. and abroad. Nope. So the, and I think, wasn't the print run like 5%? It's super low. It, it was real low compared to the normal print run. So this, 
like I said, this might be a one of one. Now this book doesn't have it, but I've noticed on a lot of the Mark Jeweler books, you'll see like a little stamp of a star. I don't know if that's actually indication of that, but a lot of them you'll see that. So if you see a raw book with that on, open it up, try to find that insert. If it is, I would bag it, especially if it's a key issue. The next book we have here is also ultra rare. Now you're looking at this and you're like, wait a minute, I've seen this book. It's Green Lantern, volume three, number 51. What is the significance? It's the first appearance of Kyle Rayner on the cover in his new costume. Love the book. Again, I'm a big Green Lantern fan. The significance of this, though, I want you to look down at the lower corner. It is a DC logo universe variant. Ultra rare. These books command a high price, much higher than regular 9.8. And when we did the research, according to the CGC census, this is the only one available. Now, I did not know that when I, I just purchased this and I only spent $200 on this book. This book is crazy rare and I'm glad I grabbed it now that I found out it's the only 9.8 on the CGC census currently. Now, Matt, you did a little research. Where did these books come from? Apparently, it's from a multi-pack, so I'm thinking it's from almost, you know, it was with multiple comics in a plastic bag, so. And I think, I want to say they were from Walmart, maybe? They were in some departments, maybe Targets or Walmarts uh, in, like, packages? If you know, let us know in the comments, but I believe it was, like, in a poly bag type situation, like the Miles Morales yeah. books them. But again, I think this is the only one on the census, CGC 9.8 DC logo variant. The big DC collectors know exactly what these are when they see that DC logo variant down here. Ultra rare, especially in high grade. Beautiful book. And if this is the only one, I am going to keep this baby for a long time. Next book is Showcase 73 from 1968. First appearance of the Creeper, Jack Ryder. I've always loved this book. I've always loved this character. I've always wanted it. In a 9.0, there is only 55 copies graded at that grade. And from our research, I can only find about 101 copies graded higher. Super hard to find Silver Age key in a high grade. Yeah, we looked for a 9.0 or higher this book for a while. It's very hard yeah. to find. Colors are beautiful on this thing. Can't go wrong with that. Next book we have is Amazing Spider-Man 29. Second appearance of the Scorpion. It's a CGC 9.0. Again, I'm going to get this case switched out. The color, it just looks, it's a beautiful looking copy, but this case just takes it down. Again, it's Amazing Spider-Man 29. The second appearance of the Scorpion. I love this. I love this cover. I think it's better than the, the first green, appearance. The colors on this are just amazing. And in a 9.0, it's very hard to find copies in this grade or higher. There's only 150 copies graded higher than this book in the world. Reds and greens just pop on that thing. Another great book you may have seen in our previous videos, Fantastic Four, number 45. First appearance of the Inhumans in a 9.4. Now, we did the research on this book. Only 27 copies in this grade on the census and only 12 copies graded higher. And the special thing about this book, you can see the notation on there, it is from David Parso, who was Stanley's personal tailor. It was from his own collection. Which makes it a one out of one, really, when you think about it, right? I it mean, is. there's 12 graded higher, but this is the only copy in the world with the notation owned by David Parso, Stan Lee's tailor. This was purchased from Stan Lee's tailor's collection. One of a kind, and it says it. The cool thing is they CGC actually put it right on the label. Yeah, so Incredible book. From his personal collection, I mean, it definitely makes it different than the other nine fours, and I just couldn't let this book go. I was looking for a high grade of this book in particular. When I saw that, I was like, I gotta get that. Way too cool. That's an incredible book. Especially when you think about it, like I said, it's it's really a one out of one. It's already rare, and then the mm -hmm. fact that it's from the tailor of Stan Lee. You wonder, did Stan Lee like give his buddy comic books? I mean, where did this guy get all these from? You know what I mean? Did, did Stan pay him with comic books? Did he was David Par obviously David Parso must have been a comic book fan, but um, pretty cool that it's from his collection. The grand finale for our 2022 favorite pickups. We have an Uncanny X Men 283, first full appearance of Bishop, and what is the significance of this? Is that a nine eight? It's a CGC 9.9. 9.9, folks. Gold number there, huh? Yep, and it even has the little sticker off to the side that means it's one of the better 9.9s. Oh, it's one of the better out of the three 9.9s. Now there is 
I should state there is a 10.0 of this book on the census, three 9.9s, and then there's thousands of the 9.8s. So again, with this book, Bishop being one of my favorite X-Men characters, this came to auction, had to snag it. Great, great investment. When you think about it, there's only four books at this grade point, a 10.0, and 399. I got to say with that QES sticker, that means it, it it looks good for the grade. So if it's a 99, it looks good for the yeah, grade. What are they saying? I don't know what that means. I mean, what, it's already a 99, but it looks even better than a 99. Well, that usually means it's got great color strike, great centering. There's little things that, you know, make and it the book does. even better. When, you, when we put up the picture, the color on this thing is just eye popping. So this isn't just a 99, it's an exceptional 99. Yep. One of four in the world, high grade. Again, and we're really pumping the X-Men. They haven't even come to the MCU yet. We're going to get these guys in big time, and I would think Bishop will show up at some time in the MCU. Oh, I hope so. So that wraps up our best picks of 2022. Please subscribe to our MJZ channel. It really helps support us, lets you know, let us know that you like what you're watching, and we will continue to pump out these videos. We really enjoy doing it. MJZ out.